So as I've mentioned a couple of times, not all merges are fast forward merges. I'm gonna show you an example of that in this video. So imagine you're working, uh, I don't know, you're on a team, two people, and you have your master branch on a project, uh, and then you create your own branch to fix a bug or try some experiment out or whatever it is. And you're working over there for a few hours, and then you're happy with it, and you want to merge it back in to the master branch. But then you realize, hey, somebody's already done some work on the master branch. My teammate, my partner has done work since I created my branch. So there's a commit over here, or maybe 10 commits that I don't have on my branch on bug fix, but it is on master. So when I try and merge, it's no longer a fast forward. If I just try and take these two bug fix branch commits, it's not a matter of just having master catch up. Now there's new information that I don't have on bug fix, and there's information on bug fix that master does not have. So to make this merge happen, it's not terribly complicated or anything. We use the exact same commands, but Git may not be able to do it automatically for us. It depends on the particulars of our commits and if there's conflicting information. For example, what happens if on the master branch, my partner edited line 59 of a file and on the bug fix branch, I edited the same line to be something else. Which one wins when there's a conflict? Well, that's something we're going to address in the next video. For now, I'm gonna show you an example where we don't arrive at a conflict. And instead, Git is able to make the merge for us automatically. So what happens in these scenarios when it's not a fast forward merge? Something called a merge commit is generated. Basically, Git just makes a commit for us on the branch that we're merging into, the recipient branch. It makes a new commit for us and it will prompt us to include a message. And one thing I'll just call your attention to really quickly is that this new merge commit is the first commit we've seen that actually has two different parent commits. Remember, every commit has a parent. So if we take this commit here, it has one parent. This one has one parent. This one has this parent and this parent from bug fix. So commits can have multiple parents, and in fact they do whenever we make a merge commit. I just wanna point that out really quickly. This is something that will come up later on. Anyway, for now, let's try making a merge commit. So I'll show you this. However, with our road trip playlist, as great as this repo is, there's quite a few branches going on and it's kind of difficult to just visually show you with all this other clutter. So what I'm gonna do is just duplicate some of what we've done. I'm just gonna make a new repo uh, really quickly. So I'm gonna back out of here. I'll call it playlist take two. I'll CD into that, make sure I'm not in a repo. I'll initialize, and then I'm gonna make a single file on my master branch. I'm gonna call this songs.txt, and I'm gonna open this up in my editor. Okay, so here's that file. Uh, I'll add a new commit here. Git add songs.txt, git commit, you know, add songs file. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly add two songs in here. Okay, I added two songs by ABBA again. I've opened this repo in Git Kraken, so you can see master branch has exactly one commit, add songs file. Now I'll make my commit in here, just to show you again, I can do it visually. I click stage for that file instead of git add, and then add to ABBA songs. Okay, commit changes to one file, I'm on the master branch. Great, so I'm now going to branch off from this master branch and I'll make a branch called ABBA. Sure, it's going to include more ABBA songs. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll do it from here, git branch ABBA, and then I can switch to it, git switch to ABBA. Okay, so I'll add another couple ABBA songs. I'll make a commit on this branch. All right, so I'll do Mamma Mia by ABBA, and then I'll stage that file, and then add Mamma Mia, and I'll do one more commit. Uh, what's another song? I guess Dancing Queen, Dancing Queen, ABBA. And I'll do the same thing. Definitely do not need to do this with the GUI, but I'm just trying to show it in two different ways. So add Mama Mia. Okay, so now we have, what, two commits on Master Branch and two commits in addition that are only on the ABBA branch. So if I were to merge right now, it would just be a fast forward. If I merged the ABBA changes into master, master just catches up. But I'm gonna go back to master and do some more work. 
So this is the same idea that I showed here where, you know, what if I'm working on a branch and then a coworker does a new commit on master in the meantime? So let's do that. Uh, let's add a completely new file to master. Remember, I said we can run into conflicts, which complicate things. I'm gonna show that in the next video. So that's why I'm gonna do it in a separate file. I'm gonna make a new commit. Uh, maybe instead of just songs, I also want a playlist for podcasts. So I'm gonna make a podcasts file on the master branch. So podcasts.txt. Okay, so now I have this new file and I'll make a commit just to commemorate that. I'll do it this time from uh, the command line. So git add podcasts.txt, git commit, add podcasts file. So back uh, in git kraken, we see now master has this new commit that ABBA does not know about. ABBA knows about these four commits, the two ABBA commits plus the two prior on master, but now master has a new commit. And so merging is going to be slightly different. It's not a fast forward as we've discussed. Uh, I am just gonna add one commit to master, maybe one more, um, let's go to the podcast file and add something to the podcast file. How about some good podcasts? I like one called The Lead, a sports podcast, uh, Radio Lab, obviously. Well, I shouldn't say obviously, but a lot of people know that one. This American Life, we'll just stop there. Okay, three podcasts and I'll add the podcast file and commit, add three podcasts. Okay, so now on master, we have two commits that ABBA doesn't know about. And on ABBA, we have two commits that master doesn't know about. So I'm gonna do the merge just like before, I'm going to merge uh, the ABBA branch onto master. I shouldn't say just like before because we haven't had an ABBA branch, but I'm just gonna do the same process where I go to master, I'll switch to master, and then I'll merge the ABBA branch in to master. So this is what it looks like right now. Just keep, keep your eye on this and remember, right? We split off to make ABBA, and then I kept going on the master branch and I added the podcast file. So now I'm on the master branch, right? Just double check, and I'm going to merge ABBA. So git merge ABBA. Did I capitalize the branch name? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, there we are, git merge ABBA. Oh, and take a look at this. It opened up my editor because I've set my default text editor in Git to be VS Code, and it's waiting for me to close that file just like when I make a commit. If I don't use the dash M flag, it opens up VS Code. And so this tells us we have a new commit. Remember I talked about this idea of a merge commit being made for us? That's exactly what's going on. Git made a commit for me, and it suggested a, method, a message, merge branch ABBA. I can add other stuff in here if I want to. Uh, usually I just leave this alone because you're just merging the branch uh, and that's pretty self-explanatory, but we could edit this commit message. All we need to do is close. So if you did configure your editor, just close out and that will make our new commit. There we are. It says merge made by the recursive strategy. We'll learn more about that in, a, well, you can in an appendix, uh, a, a bit where I talk about how Git works. Totally optional though. Let's take a look over here and Git Kraken. What do we see now? Well, this line is new. See that right there? And a new commit right there that says merge branch ABBA. So I can also view this with Git log. I'm on master. We can see I have the original master commits and then I have the commits from our ABBA branch. By the way, I screwed up. Uh, you probably saw this before me. I named, I gave them the same commit message, add mamma mia, add mamma mia, even though one of them was actually adding Dancing Queen uh, and the other was adding mamma mia. Anyway, uh, we have those two and I have my commits from the master branch, add podcast file, add three podcasts. And then I have this merge commit that get made for me. And I just left the default message. So that's an example of a non fast forward merge where things were still automatically merged. I just had to provide a message. There was no conflicting uh, changes. There was no problems that arose. For example, I wasn't changing two things in the same file. Git was able to figure out, oh, it just merge in that new stuff into the actual songs file, this ABBA stuff, and keep the podcast changes that are on the master branch already. So that's one example of a merge commit. In the next video, I'll talk about what happens when there is a conflict and how we resolve that.